Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul for you. It is loud in our house. We have company with us, my cousin and her husband and their three kids are staying with us for the week. So I'm gonna show you my grocery haul. The last time I did a big grocery haul was May, I think, cause June I did a pantry and freezer challenge. In July we were out of town a lot. And when we were back in town, we were still eating through our freezer. So we are catching up now. It's the beginning of August and First, I stopped at Walmart, so let me show you what I got there. This month, uh, for our meal planning, we are going to eat Sukuma Wiki. We have a video about how we make that. It's a Kenyan dish that's a lot of greens, and we're gonna eat that once a week this month. So I have a lot of kale. We just use frozen veggies for that. I have a lot of kale and spinach and collard greens. I should've put them all together, but I've got four bags of each of those, so that should help. I think I still have some spinach in the freezer that'll help get me by on that. And then I have some frozen cauliflower. I like to eat this for lunch once in a while, but I also have a bunch of meals that call for it, that I'm doing some skillet meals out of the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. And then I've got a bunch of this pizza sauce. I love Walmart's pizza sauce because it's low sugar or no sugar added. And I got seven big jars of this. So this really, I am replenishing my pantry here with this stuff. Um, because we ate through all of it, or a lot of it. And then I got some coconut milk, five cans, just for some meals that I make. This is a big thing of eggs, the 60 count from Walmart. And I always wanted to try these spiral veggie zucchini noodles, veggie spirals, whatever. I make them all the time, but they do take time and I feel like they shrink down a lot when you make them. It takes a lot of zucchini. So I just picked up a couple bags just to try it out, see if it's worth it. And then I got two um, Halo Top ice creams because this helps me stay on plan with my eating plan to have a little of these as a treat. I only got two of them because really they didn't have most of my favorite flavors, which are red velvet and, um, oh, I like the peanut butter cup. And I love the cinnamon roll one, the cinnamon roll one. Okay, I got this stuff. This is really not totally on my pl eating plan, but I cannot find the kind that is anymore, it's like they stopped selling them around here. So if you if you do Trim Healthy Mama and you eat peanut powder, tell me in the comments below where you get yours that is on plan. I like putting in this in smoothies and I do have a meal that called for it this month that I'm making. So I will, um, I needed something, so I'm just gonna use that. This is coconut sugar. The kids use this to sweeten their oatmeal, especially. And then this <laughs> we picked up because, um, <laughs> because it's the kind of sugar that is used in chai in Kenya. My cousin's husband is also Kenyan and they are wanting the real deal for their chai. So we picked up some sugar in the raw to use and they were excited even when we walked in the door, right Lydia? <laughs> okay, and then we got these strawberries. Actually, she bought a couple of these, but um, they had them for $1. I'm not sure why. <laughs> they look pretty good. So we got six of those things. So my total without Okay, two of those she bought. So that $2. would be $2. <laughs> but my total was $108. So stay tuned for the next store. We'll see what we spent there. If you're new to my grocery hauls, I shop, I plan for the whole month worth of food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, for um, my husband and I and our nine children. And so uh, I get almost all of that food at the beginning of the month. I do have to go back in the middle of the month, usually for eggs, always milk, and some fresh fruit and some fresh vegetables too. Only because um, those things would not last the whole month. They just don't last the whole month. So, and right now I also will go back for um, some of my bread, but all the rest of my meals, I have everything for, and everything that can be frozen is all for the whole month. The next haul I have to show you is Sam's Club. Let me show you what I got there. Here is all of it. So let's start here. This is our toilet paper we need and some disinfectant wipes that I like to pick up. I'm doing several dinners that take cabbage and I'm lazy, so I buy it like this, already chopped up for myself. The kids love raisins. We got two bags of those, uh, some snap peas, and that just goes along with the kids' lunches a lot of times. This salsa we use a lot for cooking, and this is for the salads that I like to eat. It's not quite enough, but I have some leftover from the last couple weeks that I'm still eating. This is our applesauce. I used to get this at Aldi, but they stopped selling the big things. They only sell these little jars. So my, I'm always going back and forth between Sam's and Aldi. What's cheaper? Um, 
and just w- what can I get the best deal for? And right now it's Sam's Club. It used to be Aldi. So those things change. That's why I have to really watch the prices and stuff. This is for a broccoli salad, which is what we're having for dinner one night. And this is also for the kids' lunches. This will last us the whole month. And, oh, guys, I'm drinking Diet Coke again. I quit it for quite a while once, once again, but <laughs> it won't be for long. Maybe when the baby's sleeping through the night, I'll stop drinking it again. And then this is Brussels sprouts. We like to eat those often. So I might pick up more through in the middle of the month if we finish those off. And here's some ground turkey. This is what I use in place of ground beef a lot. Um, some baby spinach. Uh, again, I have some meals that will use a lot of these. These are for my salads. Our garden is starting to produce tomatoes, but not quite fast enough for me yet. And then this is some bananas. I'll get more at Aldi. Some avocados. I hopefully will get more at Aldi, but I'm not sure what the price will be there today. These are just a good snack for me. My husband and I eat mostly Trim Healthy Mama, so when you were like wanting to grab something really quick, this is a nice snack to have. There's some Mexican cheese mix. I keep that in the freezer just for when I need it for meals or something. It won't go bad in the freezer. This is a special treat we got for Trey, my cousin, who loves it. So he'll probably take these home to Kenya <laughs> to enjoy. It's a lot cheaper here, right, Lydia? Is that the deal? Okay, here we got some pretzels. The kids have this for snack once a week. This is my treat. They got the Halo now at Sam's Club, and it is a little bit cheaper there, and they do have the, this is the only flavor they have, but I like this flavor a lot. I got these popsicles. I like to get the all fruit ones, but they um, they have changed out to a new brand at Sam's Club, and it is so expensive. So we're just doing the sugar water because it, it would be like $36 worth of popsicles for them to each have one once a week. This is just my backup. I use this, <laughs> try to use, I use this sometimes for lunch once a week. Um, if we don't have leftovers or something, it's just nice to have in the garage just to pull out when we need it. Okay, we got two maple syrup. This might not last. We use these when we, I think we have, we're having pancakes for lunch once a week, so we use this. And we also use it to sweeten our yogurt and something else, but I can't remember right now. Ranch for salads, bacon bits for eggs, kale, salads, um, maybe a meal. I don't know. Cottage cheese, this one is uh, we have with applesauce and toast sometimes on once a week maybe for breakfast. This is a big old thing of sour cream. We really can finish that in a month and sometimes be wanting. <laughs> We've got sour cream lovers around here. Uh, goat cheese for my salads. String cheese, they can have this. The kids can have this if they're real hungry in the evening or something just as an extra snack to have around. This I keep in the freezer because we don't always go through all of it and um, we use it to make pizzas or uh, I think I'm making lasagna once. So it's nice just to have this bag. I know it is not the healthiest, I'm aware. So you don't have to tell me that, but <laughs> it is nice to have around. Um, and then this stuff we use to, uh, for sandwiches and roll ups for lunch for the kids. This meat, we will have uh, this kind of beef once a week this month. And, and there's five Mondays. I think I had planned it for Mondays and it's, there's five Mondays. So these three should last us. We're doing that with the greens. And we, I think I have one other meal that uses that too. So this will stretch for maybe six, yes, six meals, this meat uh, for us. And so we don't, obviously we don't eat a ton of meat, um, but for 11, 10 people, for a meal, but um, doing the kind of meals we do, you can do a little meat and it goes a long way that way. Okay, so these vegetables I use a lot for my curry chicken. Um, Solo and I drink this to make shakes and uh, like protein shakes and that kind of thing. I got a couple extra milk because Aldi has that limit of six and I'm needing a little more than that right now. And then they, I let the kids have one of these once a week for a special snack. They love those things, but I had to get three boxes. They changed their boxing. And I got one of these things of butter. I meant to get two, so <laughs> we'll just have to go um, slow on the butter. And then this we got because Solo went to the store with me and he threw it in there. You know, if you have a husband who shops once in a while, you know what that's like. And then this is uh, chicken thighs. I have one bag of that, two bags of chicken breasts for dinner. And then we got some mixed fruit for smoothies and snacks and mixed berries for smoothies and snacks. The thing I forgot to tell you is that that haul was $560.
Okay guys, I forgot about this too. We found this under the seat of the car, but this is the amount of honey we use sometimes in a month. We probably won't use all of it, but we use it to sweeten our granola, to make granola, and then we use it to sweeten other random things that we're eating or using. And um, some of you have told me that this actually, this honey has corn syrup in it. It's not just honey, but um, it does say just filtered honey. So let me know, does that, is it possible that it has other stuff in it? I hope not. It is a couple days later and I finally got to Aldi to pick up my groceries there. Oh, Hope, are you rearranging my furniture? Where are you going with that? Do you need a chair? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got four pizzas. We have, right now we have a family of five staying with us for the whole week. So the four pizzas are just for tonight to make things easy on grocery shopping day, right? So I got, Picked up four pizzas there. They're a good price at Aldi and they feed a lot of people. And then we got this bagels. We do bagels once a week for breakfast and this cream cheese goes with that for the bagels. We got two bags of plums, two cantaloupe. They were, a, I think they were a dollar each. They were cheap, they were cheap. Some sweet potatoes. Got four things of lunch meat, 12 loaves of bread. And this is probably mostly just the first half of the month since it's really warm outside i gotta store this bread at least after a week's worth of, after a week i try to store most of it in the fridge or freezer and i don't have enough space for the whole month's worth or i'll make bread for the second half of the month got a couple packages of diapers that's what i needed this month for the babies that's size two and then six milk that's the max that aldi lets me get i picked up some things for my Pantry, like I told you in June, we did a pantry clean out, so I needed some things. The kids have really been wanting to make cookies, so I got some supplies for them, but I forgot shortening, so I don't know, I may have to find somewhere to pick that up. And then, are you missing a kid? Yeah. We're missing one kid. We got uh, some bags of beans. I'm doing some beans and rice this month, and we use a lot of black beans anyway. And some jam to go with peanut butter and jelly or toast. This is a snack once a week. We'll have granola bars. I got some cans of tuna. Let's see, 10 cans of that. I picked up all of this is diced tomatoes to restock my pantry. And we have a screen door that's broken. And so I just picked up this, it was $6. We're gonna try it out because I know our screen door is not gonna get fixed this summer. So I'm sick of the flies. Gonna try out this fly screen. Oh yeah, and then we picked up this too because I was trying to find a fly swatter for all the flies that have already come in. Have you tried it yet? No, I didn't see any flies in the really big If you're um, against fly um, abuse, you wouldn't like this because it like shocks the flies and kills them. Okay, so I got 12 oatmeal because uh, that's how much we go through. I use that, we eat oatmeal a couple times a week and we make granola for a couple times a week for breakfast. This sprouted green bread is for Solo and I, we eat that, that's for a whole month for us. And then Judah, did you get 10 bags of tortillas for me? I only see five here. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess that's going on my mid month list too. And then some low fat cottage cheese, some Greek yogurt, that's for the whole month for sure. Brown rice, we love this basmati brown rice at Aldi. And then Aldi does not carry whole wheat pasta and I forgot to get it at Walmart. So I just picked up four boxes of this. We're doing tuna and noodles um, for a lunch once a week. And I do have some brown noodles up there still. So it's just get me through the month and I'm gonna have to buy it at Walmart next month. Chopped kale, I got a couple, oops. And there goes an avocado. <laughs> So we got some avocados, two bags of chopped kale, green onions, red onions, white onions, all these bananas, white potatoes, couple of mayo, couple of virg extra virgin olive oil, because I, some of this is pantry restocking, some steak sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Baby section over here. <laughs> this is the baby section, all the babies. And this is why these videos are loud. The pizza? Okay, just, I'm almost done. Okay, last one. Gonna show you Trader Joe's. I always do four stores every month, so this is what I get at Trader Joe's. It's just those random weird things that I can't get somewhere else. And today, Aldi did not have cilantro, so I picked up four of those at Trader Joe's, which is unfortunate because it's twice the cost there um, as Aldi, but that happens a lot to me. 
And then peanut butter, actually this got cheaper. It's $1.99 now. And this is actually real natural peanut butter. So I got six of those. I've been trying to find some um, chips that are on plan. I have a recipe I need to use them in this month. And I cannot find baked black corn chips anymore or blue corn chips. But these are these are a little Ooh. better, close. They were the best choice I had. Um, I got three bags of nectarines. Those didn't look that great at Aldi. Three bags of peaches. And then this is the special treats, the splurges. This is for Solo, it's whole cashews. And I got some of this feta cheese that I've heard about. It's supposed to be really, really good. And we, we have a lot of garden vegetables coming out of our garden right now. The cucumber, some tomato, and um, zucchini. So I'm gonna make cucumber tomato salad with this feta cheese, excited about that. And this is the chocolate for me for the month. Okay, guys. My house is a little loud. I realize I did not talk money much with you on this haul. So it is the next day, but I wanted to give you a rundown of the numbers really quick, because I know some of you really like to hear that part. So I think I mentioned to you that my Walmart haul was like 108, 109. My Sam's Club haul was five something, but um, I had a credit of, well now we got an airplane out here, <laughs> go figure. I had a credit of $190. We used Sam's Club, um, their credit card and it gives us rewards back and so we use it for our groceries and our gas every month and we pay it off at the end of the month and we get quite a few quite a, um, a good amount in rewards some that we spend we can only spend at the store which we use it all the time and then some cash too every so it ends up to be hundreds and hundreds of dollars every year so that works well for us so anyway I had some I had hundred and ninety dollars worth this month so I applied that I actually had it last month, but I saved it for this month because since I had done the, oh, come on, baby. Since I had done the pantry challenge, I thought I might have to spend more this month, so I had saved it for this month. Anyways, my total there was 371, I think. Yes, 371. Oh, she just ate, I promise she's not hungry. Just a little evening fussy. So my Trader Joe's haul was $75, just under $75. And my Aldi haul, all those groceries from Aldi was just $277. So all together, yeah, $278, just under $278. So all together I spent $833, which is actually way under budget for me. We usually budget $1,200 a month. Um, and that saves me, usually I like to spend around 1,000 to 1,100 and save the rest for the fruits and vegetables and milk that I pick up halfway through the month. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have plenty for that. And so we'll see if I run out of some things early because of my pantry challenge or anything like that. I guess I will have a buffer there. If not, I will save it for next month because it always catches up with me eventually in diapers or some way or another. So that was the totals for this month. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.